Okay. <laughs> I'm um my in game's name is Cooper Steve and I'm uh on the show today. How to set up a pretty overpowered uh ME system in Scriber setup. This is one I like to use and it helps me get everything that I need and I've sort of refined it. So I'm here with uh three of my friends that play on the server with me. I'm on Tronopolis server. I'm playing mod source. Wait, who said we were friends again? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you got I'm me. here for you, Scuba. You I'm oh, yeah. here for you. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> You'll be I'm hearing sorry, just... random babble in the background. <laughs> to go away. Oh, okay. now we're that random like... babble. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, we like... first I got your back, <laughs> and now all of a sudden we're random babble. Hey, you notice, I, you know, I, I kind of wanted to hear like the MLG blow horns going off and the ooh. ooh. <laughs> Do I need to grab my phone? <laughs> yes, you do, actually. That was a perfect moment for it. So I'm currently in my town and just sort of showing you guys around my place and how I sort of set up my base style and different colors everywhere. Basically, he's showing off. Exactly, yeah. I've got to show off to someone. I mean, I've got my different levels of my base, you know, all my alloy smelters and liquid xp and vibrant capacitor base you know you mean you have a two-layered base oh my god i have god. a three-layered base it is oh epic. wow yeah, no, sure i really not. need to come see that amazing base <laughs> i hid sarcasm in your voice oh wait i've only got 10 minutes for this i better make it count so what i started off with is these uh cables here are coming back from my main me system and so they're currently going into this interface. And this interface has the three logic processor, calculation, and engineering processes pattern that I use in this setup. So what that's doing is when I order some of these patterns, I have a wireless terminal here. And I can click and open it, and I can order processes from this. And so by doing that, I can be like, OK, let's say I want 10 or so of them. and I click to craft them and what it does is it goes over to this interface and it chucks it in the chest all the necessary items that are needed to craft hey, Alec. my processes and then they get imported onto this little uh, sub network <laughs> <laughs> and so when they're on the sub network I'll just leave that app open <laughs> export buses will be exporting them into their appropriate inscribers at the moment I've got three stacks of eight Inscribers doing silicon, one stack of eight doing diamonds, one stack doing calc as in pure quartz, and the other one doing gold. And so they're my pretty much my. And before setup. I get banned. <laughs> and just in just the middle, I've got this random auto crafting thing that looks like an eyesore, so I'll probably do that eventually. So the way I tend to do it is I have export buses going to the left side of the inscribers, and each inscriber has inside. Your left or my left? <laughs> my left has inscribe engineering presses in it for the diamond ones and then i have import buses that will import it back onto the system i'm using applied energistics 2 in this because i think it's a uh, quite a very useful mod and i like to use it a lot and uh what else oh, would really? you be using yeah you just happen to be using a one let me just jump back on my old dinosaur computer to use a one yeah exactly and so I currently have them set up so that the, the main cable the ones like the yellow cable and the blue cable are doing all the first parts of the processes and then they'll be coming over to the green cables and be finishing the processes. So each one of these has the three parts of the engineering presses and all the other presses that get exported into the top when they're needed and the silicon and redstone are just always sitting there so that I can get things really fast. And so I'll just show you, this is, uh, I don't know, about 50, 50 or so inscriber setups with all um, all the acceleration cards in them. And I'm just gonna order some processes. And uh, let's say I go 100 or so. Not enough, more. Not enough, we need more. <laughs> Must have more. So currently it'll be, Oops, it's already taken out of the chest and now I'm going to all the individual machines and you can see them all working. I do occasionally like to sit in here and watch them all go to their business. <laughs> I just sounded dirty. And so, oh, did it? Yeah, just a little bit. 
So now they're just finishing off. I don't know how many it's done so far. If I can go back into my main base and I'll be able to see how much of them have already been done. Big old fancy with his main base. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So currently they're going reasonably fast. Like when you begin out, I normally tend to start with a little setup that is just one inscriber for each inscriber press and then one inscriber to finish off all the presses that get made. And so I have this on a sub network because if I had it on my main network, it would be sending all my gold and all my silicon over here to be processed, and I wouldn't have any gold or silicon for anything else. So I have it on a sub network, and I like to use a chest with an import bus so that it keeps them separate. And so when I'm finished totally making them, and I'll export them back into the interface. And there they are there. So this is my little setup that I like to show off because I'm a show off, exactly. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, At least you can admit you're a show off. I am a, I am a show off. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.